All militarily occupied people have a right to resist their occupation, even militarily. I do not support the military option in Palestine. I prefer the other option, civil insurrection and disobedience. It brought down the British Empire in India and the Soviet Empire in Eastern Europe. Israel has overwhelming military superiority, and we see in front of our eyes the devastation and oblivion it is bringing to the people of Gaza. I categorically condemn Hamas's targeting of civilian targets of any age or gender, as it is accused of. Such targeting belies Hamas's claims to an Islamic identity. There is an Islamic injunction against the killing of innocent children, women, and elders. The injunction is also against the desecration of places of worship. I also condemn Hamas as gifting the, the higher moral ground to an Israeli government that is universally shunned, even by half of the Israeli public, as fascist, miscreant, and abhorrent. I condemn Hamas for giving this awful government the excuse to ethnically cleanse Gaza of its citizens and bombing them to oblivion. I condemn Hamas to further undermining the Palestinian Authority, as Israel has been doing. I condemn Hamas for sabotaging the attempt of Saudi Arabia to reach a peaceful resolution to the plight of the Palestinian people. But equally, I condemn Israel's indiscriminate bombing of Palestinian innocent civilians in Gaza and the attempt to forcibly drive them into Sinai. I condemn Israeli targeted killing and the indiscriminate arrest of Palestinian children, women, and men in the West Bank. Two wrongs don't make a right. I've been hearing a repeated phrase in American media, unprovoked attack. What more provocation is required to make it provoked than what Israel has done to the Palestinian people for three quarters of a century. I refer you to the article in the Middle East Monitor of February 17, 2014, under the title, Israeli Army Veterans Admit Role in Massacre of Palestinians in 1948. Read it and weep, as I did. Just this year, from May to July, over 450 Palestinians were killed, including 67 children. This bloodletting must stop. I condemn Israel's sealing of Palestinian lands, I condemn Israeli colonists for rampaging through houses of worship in the Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. I condemn Israel for destroying Palestinian homes and olive orchards. I condemn Israel for inc incarcerating Palestinian women, children, and men in concentration camps without recourse to due process. I condemn Israel's targeted killings and assassinations of Palestinians. I condemn Israel for funneling guttery money to Hamas, the terrorist group as defined by Israel. I condemn Western politicians for shedding tears when Israelis are killed by Palestinians, but refuse to even express sorrow when Israelis kill Palestinians. There are no heroes in this conflict, only victims. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arab Peace Initiative is the only viable alternative to this bloodbath. Israel should seize it with all that it can muster of political, economic, and military might. Similar to America's Vietnam debacle, Israel just suffered its own Tet Offensive, the North Vietnamese only to be upended by the North Vietnamese Tet Offensive that led to Johnson's not running again and Westmoreland's resignation. Whether Netanyahu will resign, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you for listening to me.